For our final example, we will investigate this robotic arm. So here is a video of it. The robotic arm is moving and it is carrying a disc at the end of it. I am going to call the disc D. And the question that we are asked is to find the angular velocity of the disc, obviously with respect to the uh, ground frame. And we are told that each joint in the robot rotates with respect to the previous joint, the previous joint at the rate theta dot and the base which is this rotates at the rate phi dot. Here is another video of all the various joints in action. Okay, So, I will let you watch it for a little while. Right, and you can see this joint. So, as you can see each joint is uh, rotating with respect to the previous link uh, in a 2D manner. The joints are all hinge joints so to say. Okay, Great, so now in order to solve the problem uh, we know or rather I have told you that the first piece of the strategy is to identify all the rigid bodies and attach to them the appropriate body fixed coordinate systems which is what I have done right here. It's a fairly complicated fi figure, so I am going to walk you through it in a step-by-step -step manner. So let's begin by working our way to the disk beginning from the base. And we'll go through each link by understanding the link's rotation with respect to the previous link through the joint. Okay, so let's start with the first link and how it connects with the base which is over here. So here is the base which I have to which I have attached the ground fixed coordinate system E0 given by capital EI. That is the, the blue is the body fixed coordinate system of the first link which is this one. And as you have seen in the video the blue coordinate system will be rotating with respect to the fixed red coordinate system by the rate phi dot which is what is given in the problem that the base rotates at the rate phi dot. We can now write down our usual uh, relationships where the base, the ground frame E0 defined by the capital EI unit vectors is related to the body fixed coordinate system of the first link given by small EI by the rotation tensor R0 which is a rotation about capital E3 by the amount phi t. So, rotation about capital E3 by the amount phi. I am avoiding writing down the origin because the origin does not play a role in computing angular velocities and it will save us some time during writing. So, this is the first rotation. We can then also immediately relate the small ei vectors to the capital EI vectors through the rotation tensor R0 in the usual way. Okay, So, that is the first joint. Finally, we can write down the angular velocity of E with respect to E0 to be simply phi dot along the E3 vector. Okay, that is clear from the rotation. All right. So, that describes the motion of the base with respect to the ground. We now move on to how the second link moves with respect to the first link or the base which is over here. I have attached the yellow coordinate system as the BFCS of the link which I am showing right now and this rotates about this joint at the rate theta dot. So, therefore, the yellow coordinate system rotates about E2 of the blue coordinate system by the amount theta 1. So, I can now write down expressions of the kind that E given by EI this coordinate system is rotated by the rotation tensor R1 which rotates about E2 by the amount theta 1 of time to give me coordinate system E prime given by E i prime. And similarly, we can write down that 
E i prime will therefore be R 1 dot E i and finally, the angular velocity of the first link with respect to the base given by omega of E prime with respect to E is given by theta 1 dot about E 2. We have been given in the problem that all the joints rotate at theta dot. So, that means that theta 1 dot is in fact the same as theta dot about E 2. So, I have now described the first link with respect to the base. We now come to the second link with respect to the first link which connects at this joint which is on the next page. The BFCS of the second link is given by this pink coordinate system E double prime and the pink coordinate system rotates with respect to the previous links BFCS the yellow coordinate system about E 2 prime by the rate theta dot remember the rate of all joints are constant and the angle is given by theta 2. You should notice I am using different measures for angles this is theta 1 and that is theta 2 even though the rates are the same and that is because the reference lines could be have, could have been different the time at which the joint starts rotating could have been different ok. So, just uh, following our uh, previous uh, uh, methods we can immediately write down that the coordinate system E prime given by E i prime is taken to the co the pink coordinate system by the rotation tensor R 2 rotating about E 2 prime and by the angle theta 2 as a function of time to give us the pink coordinate system which is E double prime given by E i double prime and we can write down that the unit vectors E i double prime will therefore be R 2 times E i prime and we can write down that the angular velocity of the pink coordinate system E double prime with respect to the yellow coordinate system E prime is therefore given by theta 2 dot about E 2 prime, but we know that all the joints rotated theta dot. So, therefore, theta 2 dot is in fact the same as theta dot. So, I can duplicate this put it here and erase the 2. So, now I have described the second link with respect to the first link. I come now to the link connecting the disk and the second link which is a link which you cannot see which is over here and which rotates about this joint that is on the next page. The body fixed coordinate system of this connecting link is given by this brown unit vectors f i prime ok and they rotate about the pink coordinate system about E 2 double prime by the rate theta dot making the angle theta 3. So, let me quickly write down what the relationships between the coordinate system f prime and the coordinate system E double prime will be ok. So, that is f prime f i prime is obtained by the rotation tensor R 3 about E 2 double prime by the angle theta 3 of time and we obtain this from the pink coordinate system which is E double prime E i double prime and we can write down that F i prime is therefore R 3 dotted with E i double prime and finally, that the angular velocity of the brown frame f prime with respect to the pink frame e double prime is given by theta dot well actually it is theta 3 dot which we know is the same as theta dot. So, I am just going to write theta dot directly about e 2 double prime 
okay so note what we are doing we know the angular velocity of the base with respect to the ground we know the angular velocity of the first link with respect to the base we know the angular velocity of the second link with respect to the first link and now we know the angular velocity of the connecting link with respect to the second link and we come finally to the how the disk rotates with respect to the connecting link which is on the next page the bfcs of the disk is given by these green unit vectors and it is denoted by f and it rotates with respect to the connecting links bfcs the brown unit vectors about f3 prime at the rate theta dot making the angle theta 4 so let's quickly write down the relationships that we are now rather familiar with which is that f prime given by f i prime are connected through the rotation tensor r4 about f3 prime by the angle theta 4 as a function of time to give us with f which is the disk bfcs and denoted by fi and the green fi are therefore related through r4 to the brown fi primes and finally the angular velocity of the disk with respect to the angular velocity of the connecting link given by brown is theta dot about f3 or f3 prime whichever one you choose there now we are in a position to write down the angular velocity of the disk which is what was asked we simply have to add angular velocity of the disk with respect to the connecting link the angular velocity of the connecting link with respect to the angular velocity of the second link the angular velocity of the second link with respect to the angular velocity of the first link the angular velocity of the first link with respect to the base and the angular velocity of the base with respect to the ground which is what we do next so as i said the angular velocity of the disk then becomes disk we are measuring it with respect to the ground so omega d is actually omega d with respect to e0 is the angular velocity of the bfcs of the disk which is f with respect to the connecting link which is f prime that's the connecting link the disk rotates with respect to the connecting link at theta dot which we have just seen so we keep on writing plus angular velocity of the connecting link with respect to the pink link i am not doing color coding is just taking too much time e double prime is this one it's the bfcs of the second link plus the angular velocity of the second link with respect to the first link plus the angular velocity of the first link with respect to the base plus the angular velocity of the base with respect to the ground and from the previous slides we have got expressions for each one of these that's what we did in the previous slides that's one another one there we go so when we put it all together we will get the answer as follows so this becomes theta dot about f3 prime plus e2 double prime plus e2 prime plus e2 plus phi dot with respect to e3 that's the angular velocity of the disk right some i mean it is quite often that when we know that the angular velocity is, is with respect to the ground we suppress e0 which is what i have done so this is the same as that okay so that's the answer and uh, there's a problem though the problem with the answer is that all of these the answer depends on unit vectors in different coordinate systems while what we want is we may want omega d in e0 that means ie omega d 
written completely in the frame E0. What should we do for that? For that, we need to express all these unit vectors in the E0 frame, right? So, for this need to express unit vectors f3 prime, e2 double prime, e2 prime and e2 in e0, right? Which is another way of saying that we need f3 prime e0, e2 double prime e0, e2 prime e0 and e2 in e0. To find this, I will not be doing here, I will ask you to see problem 5 of tutorial 4 and imitate that process to find these. When finding these quantities, you will now be needing all these rotation tensors that you have systematically understood. Okay? So, you will need the flow chart that we have derived that you will need for this will need to know that E0 given by capital EI is taken by R0 to E given by small EI which is taken by R1 to E prime given by E i prime which is then taken to the E double prime by R2 which is then taken by R3 to F prime given by F i prime and finally by R4 to a disk BFCS given by F. Okay. There is no reason, no special reason, reason for me using F unit vectors, it is just that too many primes began coming in. Okay. So, we use this flow chart to compute these unit vectors in E0, the components of these unit vectors in E0 for which we will follow the process outlined in problem 5 of T4. And in that way, and once we have these, once we have expressed these unit vectors in E0, we can substitute them over here and we will have the omega d in E0. Okay. So, that is the end of this uh, analysis. As you can see, the more the links, the more complicated it becomes, the more the, the, the more And with that, we will end this example and the lecture. Robots are fascinating, but they may not be the reason for why mankind may end. It may just be our inability to defend ourselves against virus.